Yesterday my life was filled with rain Sunny You smile at me in really easy pain Oh, the dark isn't done Bright isn't here My sun and one shine so sincere Sunny one so true I love Maggie, you shouldn't have. It wasn't me. Reed Sterling insisted on doing it. Look at all these. Grateful patients. Booties by the dozen. What a welcome, Sarah. I'll just go and put the kettle on. It's lovely having you back. You haven't told anyone. I promise. How are you feeling? No doom and gloom. I'm very well. I do not expect my men to waste valuable police time wrapping plastic ducks. Yeah, no, sir. Life does not stop just because somebody's having a baby. In China, there's one born every minute. Oh, yes, Sarge. Now, has our absentee constable rung in yet? Uh, no, yes, Sarge. Sarge. Well, he's going to find out if I'm up. Certificates. What have I ever done to deserve you two? One more day, I'll give him. One more day. What? So, Mr. Copeland, I thought we heard someone on his driveway. Aren't you going out? No. I told him it's probably a cat. Nick! Oh, come off it, Kate. I'm not leaving you on your first night home. It's all right. You go back to bed. Nice car. Oh, oh it's not mine, Mr. Roy. It's Gary's. It's grand, isn't it? Who's Gary? Oh, it's my old mate from school. He's come back to see me. Come on, bird brain. Get a move on. Morning, Constable. Uh, he's done right well. He's got his own business in Leeds. Oi, what did I say? No ride unless you do a proper job. Hopeless. Just back to give the old place the once over. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry, do, do you want me to come back? No, no, come in. Well done, Kate. Oh, you look ever so pale, though. Well, what's as bad as he say it is? Not really. There she is. Can I go and pick it up? Yeah. <laughs> Best blackcurrant cordial, that is. With my congratulations. Now, give it to me, Dad. I'll drop it in for you, shall I? I'm going up anyway to see if Dr Owen needs any shopping. Well, thanks, Joseph. I'm sure Kate will be very pleased. Aye, well, she's been a grand doctor for me, she has. Yes, come on, Dad. Let Mr Owen get on. Chat all day, he would. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I want to tell him about our prowler. No, come on. Well, I heard him, I'm telling you. And what's this, then? 
strange noises outside my bedroom window, Mr. Rowan. In the dead of night. Yes, that's right, love. Come on. Dreaming again. <laughs> Will you thank Al for me? Yeah. This one. This is from me. Hope it's all right. Oh, Phil. She probably won't appreciate it, yeah? Maybe when she's a bit older, eh? It's good, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's absolutely lovely. Hey. Sorry. You all right? Yes, it's just baby blues or something. I... <laughs> Phil, can I ask you something? Yeah. Look after Nick for me. Kate, she's lovely. She looks just like you. Hey, go a bit careful, son. Look, you're tearing the meat. All right. Hey, and watch those tail feathers. I get fought and teach for them. David. What do you want? I need to speak to him, all right? No, it's not all right. He's in the middle of a job. Go on. Hey, David! Where do you think you're going? David! You're a genius. Yeah, with any luck, she might go through to an out five. How you feeling? Fine. No. No, really. A good night's sleep and I'll feel a million dollars. Do you know what I'd like? What? To go out for a day. You and me and the baby, right away from everyone. Oh, don't you think that's a bit soon? I'm getting stronger every day. Just the three of us. Like a proper family. We are a proper family. We'll know more when we get the results of the latest blood tests. We thought of going out for the day. Is that all right? The main risk is infection, but in the car, well wrapped up, can't see any problem. I'm pretty hopeful. What of a cure? She's a fighter, Nick. I've got a feeling that she may surprise us all. You better hurry. Rita sounded in quite a panic. You sure you'll manage? I'll be fine. Go on. Yeah, all right. I'll be back as soon as I can. off in his car after breakfast, Mr. Rowan, and he's not come back. Do you know where he went? Well, to see his pals, he said. I mean, he's always back for his dinner and the dot of twelve. Well, who are his pals? Well, there's Ernie Shawcross of uh, Uppertoft Farm and Ginger Roberts at Cloud End. I mean, I wouldn't worry, but he had that stroke only six months back. so much. 
More than I ever thought possible. Of course you do. They don't tell you about that, do they? Mother love. I'd do anything for her. Anything in the whole world. But the one thing she wants, the one thing she really needs, I can't give her. Oh, come on, that's not true. I can't be a mother to her, Maggie. You are a mother to her. A wonderful mother. Yes, but what about in six months' time? Or a year, however long I've got? Who's going to be there when she takes her first steps? Or says her first word? Look, you're down in the dumps. It's natural after having a baby. Don't. Let's just be straight with each other, shall we? I'm going to die. Nonsense. You've responded brilliantly to treatment. You know you have. My glands hurt. Let's feel. Don't tell Nick. You get in out of the wind. I was on my way up to see Ernie and she had just conked out. I tried it with the starting handle, but it was no good. Right. Well, it looks like you're out of petrol, Joseph. Are you sure about this? Yes. Well, wouldn't it be better to go out in the car? Don't I don't want to be cooped up in a car. I want to go out for a walk up into the hills like we used to. All right. Well, if anyone sees me, I'm on a case. What is that? Happy families. It's all right for some, isn't it? He's on a case. Famous but a fruit tree, so very unsung. It can never flourish till its stock is in the ground. So men of fame can never find a way till time has flown far from their dying day. Spring is coming. I can't wait. We've been happy, haven't we? We are happy. It'll be even better now. How do you mean? Now that I'm not spending half my life in Whitby. And I've been thinking about the Aidensfield practice. How about if I went part-time? Just held one surgery a day. Sounds great. I could take Sarah with me to the surgery and get Rita to mind her. Then I wouldn't have to leave her at all. Kate, don't make too many plans yet. Come here, darling. Oh. Oops. Right, we, uh, we off then. I'm sorry, could you fetch the car? Well, what's the matter? I'm just tired, that's all. All right, uh, you, you just sit there. I'll be back in a minute, all right? Life is but a memory Happened long ago Theatre full of sadness For a long forgotten show Yes, he's here. Same as last time. 
Noise over there by the garage and then footsteps on the gravel. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at the moment. I'll come back in the morning when it's light and have a good look round. That's not good enough. I want you here now in case he comes back again. Look, Mr Copeland, it is up past one in the morning. No crime's been committed, nothing damaged and nothing stolen. Now, I'm sorry, but there are people in this world with real problems. And I have to get home now to deal with one of them, all right? It's 103. I phone favour. It's the middle of the night. I don't care. I'm frightened. Mm -hmm. How is it? Too high. Respiration rate is 34, by the way. Thank you, Doctor. It started with a sore throat, which, of course, you didn't tell me about. Typical. Made me take her for a walk up to Cloud End instead. Nick, could you do me a favour? Could you go and ask Rita Sterling if she'd come in and tidy up a bit? Well, I can do that. I'll ring Blaketon. No, I'd rather you went to work and Rita came in. I think it'd feel easy that way. His attitude was off-hand in the extreme. Oh, look into it, Mr Copeland. I'm tempted to say positively rude. Right, Mr Copeland. And then to discover this morning that someone had stolen a tank full of petrol from under my very nose... I've made a note of all you've told me, Mr Copeland, and I shall be investigating the matter fully. I hope you will. Right, that's it. I've tried a blind eye long enough. Ventress, try Roan on the phone. Bellamy, you try his radio. If we don't raise him this time, I'm going round there. Pneumonia. Hmm. Only in the one lung at the moment. Have you started the antibiotics? Straight away last night. Mm. Oh. Sod's law, isn't it? You'd come into remission so well. The blood tests were looking better. This is just what we didn't need. I'm going to call in Charlie Morrison. Do you have to? It'll only worry Nick. Kate, I'm only a humble haematologist. I need an expert opinion. Say that again. Hypostatic pneumonia. I want our chess man, Morrison, to come over. I'd better warn you, he'll probably want her in. Back to hospital. Mm. Rowan? I'll, um, I'll ring you later. Uh, wait a minute, sir. So, this is what you've been up to, is it, Rowan? Playing mummies and daddies while drawing full pay from the North Riding Constabulary. And while I, Rowan, receive complaints. Complaints about the inefficiency of the village constable. About rudeness. About incompetence. And these complaints come to me because, for some unknown reason, nobody can contact you. Now, I don't care if your wife is a doctor or the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Once she's had a baby, that's her job, and your job is to bring in the bacon. And there'll be precious little bacon to bring in if you don't pull your finger out. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Right. Just put that telephone back on its hook. Well, where is Dr. Rowan, anyway? Resting. Well, when she's finished resting, this place could do with a woman's touch.
I heard all that. You shouldn't be up. You've got to tell him. I was the one who wanted to keep it a secret. And I was wrong. It's better now if everyone knows, for your sake. What shall I tell them? Everything. Zero two four to control. Yes, sir. Ventress, I'm on the Edensfield Road. Get yourself out here fast. And bring a can of petrol. Nice, is it? After all I've done for you. Sorry. Right, I'll have this. It... I need me can. You're joking, it's got my petrol in it. No, it's not yours, it come from Mr. Blaketon. Yeah, well, no matter where it came from, stealing is a mortal sin, so get out of it before I chop your legs off. Go on. <laughs> Nick, I don't know what to say. So what have I got now then, Ventress? A mucky carburetor. A car that sounds like firework, like the on wrong side. Well, what's wrong with you? You spoke to Nick. Kate's got leukemia. Kate? Kate ruined? Leukemia? But she can't have. She's just said a baby. They don't reckon that she's going to pull through. She's so young. She's only a couple of years older than me. On the side there, under some books, instructions. Oh, yes. I want you to take them. If it's your last will and testament, I'm having nothing to do with it. No, it's not. It's arrangements. For afterwards. That's even worse. We're not at that stage yet, Kate. Stick that other leg out. Please, take them. Oh, come on. Where to get the ham? Who to ask? I've heard of forward planning, but this is ridiculous. It's only to make things easier for Nick. Only to get your own way, more like. Bossy to the bitter end. <coughs> Kate, um, Mr Morrison's here. Things aren't looking good, I'm afraid. Congestion's getting worse rather rapidly. We'd like you back in hospital. Well, I I'm not making any decision without Kate. It's very kind of you, but no. Might give you a better chance. Time is very precious to me now, Michael. And I want to stay here. With my husband and my baby. If there are other treatments... They wouldn't work. They'd only delay things. 
I don't want to linger. Anyway, it's playing havoc with my looks. You let us know if she changes her mind. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming. Bye bye. Sergeant Blaketon's here to see you. He insisted on waiting. apologize. If I'd known Kate was so ill, I would never have said the things I did. And I'm extremely sorry. So if there's anything I can do, and uh, Bellamy and Ventress, you only have to ask. For starters, you can get that uniform off. From now on, you're on compassionate leave. Three days official. After that, we'll bend the rules. Excuse me, Sarge. Right. Now, have you got everything you need? Yes, thanks. Right. Don't be bitter, Nick. Don't be bitter? My whole life's been turned upside down. I'm not a saint. Look, f feeling angry won't help. You've got to be calm for you and the baby. Yeah, well, if it hadn't been for her... Having her made no difference. I would have got the illness anyway. You must never, never think that. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Go and get some sleep. You look exhausted. Are you sure you'll be all right in there? Yeah, you just knock on the wall if you need anything. Is that a proposition? Isn't she a little puppet? Yeah, she's lovely. And just like a mum. Poor wee thing. Lying there all innocent. It's so awful, Rita. I know, love. I know. Is that her? Yeah, she's pushing the pram up the path. I want to see the baby. Right. No, not Gina. I'm not up to Gina. Nick, I want to say something. If you remarry... OK. No, I'm serious. I want you to find someone else. But I want you to remember... Shh, don't talk so much. I want you to remember that Sarah is your firstborn. She must never take second place. She won't. And you must give her enough love for both of us. Double rations. Lots and lots of love. She said it again, you know. Telling me what to do. Lots of cuddles and bedtime stories. No smacking or leaving her to cry. And what else? Plenty of fresh air and exercise. And take her to all our favourite places. And when she's older, help her with the homework. See, even I know it by now. And with your brains and his looks, how can she possibly fail? Excuse me. I won't drop her. There you go. I'll just go down and make some bottles for the night.
I meant to do so many things. I have lots of children. Tell her about us, will you? Yeah. Tell her. Yeah. Tell her that her mum and dad quite liked each other. Come on. I'll put her back in her cot. Wait a minute. Night, night, darling. You were supposed to meet me an hour ago. Where is it? I haven't got any. What? Well, I can't anymore, Gary. It's stealing. What? As Mr Greengrass, he said it were wrong. Never mind what he says. You get me some more petrol. Or I'll tell your mum what you've been doing. No. No, don't tell me, ma'am. She'll kill me. I'll get you some more. I promise. You'd better. Alex. Call Alex. Sorry, love. Alex Ferrenby. I feel terrible. Kate. <sighs> she, uh, she just asked for Dr. Ferrenby. He died three years ago. You need some sleep, Nick. Get to bed. Night. Spare bed. So, if Madame doesn't object, I think I'll sleep in my own bed for a change. Hey, come on. Give us a cuddle. Oh, I don't even get a kiss.
things ends up to one thing, honey, and I can't think of right words to say. Seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord God, most holy, O Lord, most mighty, O holy and most merciful Saviour, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord, most holy, O God, most mighty, O holy and merciful Saviour. Thou, most worthy judge eternal, Suffer us not at our last hour for any pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it hath pleased Almighty God of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear sister here departed, we therefore commit her body to the ground Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes life seems so very unfair, doesn't it, Nick? Oh, I don't know, Vicar. God moves in mysterious ways. I dare say this is a case in point. Drive on. One of us will bring him back. Fine. I'll wait for him, Sarge. Right. Get hold of yourself, Bellamy. Remember, you're in uniform. Would you like to go home for a bit first? Before the wake? Sorry? Would you like to go home and see the baby? It might make you feel better. I doubt it. Now you go on, Elf. Don't miss the bun fight on my account. and the Lord taketh away, Mrs. Rowan. Well, he's taken away a bit too much this time, if you ask me. I'll get myself some iron. So as soon as it, eh? No. The nasty little thief who's been nicking the petrol. No. No. So what's all this then, eh? 
Prowling around at night. Please, Mr. Ron. Get me out of the small house while my wife is dying. Please. Get up, son. Get up, get up, and run. Get me, get me, get me. What's my plan, Al? I'm just about to make an arrest. Okay. Let's get back to the way. Good boy, Alfred. Alfred, come on. You must be our venturous. The name is Blaketon, madam. Sergeant Blaketon? Never. I mean, you're quite nice looking. Nothing at all like Nick says in his letters. I'm his mother, by the way. Ruby Rowan. Nick, everybody's here. It's just how Kate wanted it to be. Good. See, Nick. No, thanks. He'll need some careful watching, Ventress. Well, he doesn't seem that keen on the baby either, Sarge. <coughs> Shut up, will you? Come here. <coughs> Come here, you duff paper. <coughs> what are you doing? Alfred, <coughs> Come here. What's over here? What are you doing here? What's the matter? <laughs> what? He went bananas, absolutely bananas. I mean, that lad's not all there. He can't read or write. And Nick really went for him. But he was carrying the petrol can and siphon. That's no way to treat him. I've never seen Nick lose his temper like that before. Get that down, you lovey. Come on, you haven't had a thing yet. Now then, I want a serious little chat about the baby. Mum, not yet. It has to be decided. You won't be able to cope, not on your own. And Kate only had Auntie Eileen. So it's down to us, isn't it? I could take her back to London with me. So what do you say? I'll think about it, man. Eileen, I've offered to have the baby. Well, it's the only solution, isn't it? It's a solution, yes. I, I'm not sure it's the only one. You don't know it to me. I'm talking about what you've been doing to David. So you better get in your motor and get out of the village while you've still got a motor to get out in. I I've not got any petrol. Then go and buy some. I'm skint. Skint? Big businessman like you from Leeds. You're not a big businessman, are you? You're just a big mouth who's got a big car you can't afford to run. Well, in case you've not noticed, there's a funeral on. There's plenty of cars about. Even somebody with your limited intelligence should be able to think of something, right? He's been dead in three years that I know of. Yeah. The first he employer, is. wasn't he? A good man. She came to this. Part. Well, well, well. The medical profession. Um, may I put a question to you as doctors? Oh, yes, of course. Well, may I ask how it happened? How my wife managed to get through a whole pregnancy with leukemia and nobody noticed? Look, um... Looks like medical negligence to me. Oh, come on, Nick. No, I understand how he feels. I doubt it, Dr. Faber. I watched her die. I lay with her as she died. And all through the night, do you know what I thought? That this needn't have happened. She must have been ill for ages. Look, it's... And if you'd have spotted it, you could have treated her earlier. Let me try and explain. I don't need explanations. You're as much to blame as they are. Come outside a minute. You're quite wrong. We all did our best. Yeah, when it was too late. Because we didn't know! She hid the symptoms from us. Look, 
The hospital did a blood test early on in the pregnancy. She was anemic, said she'd treated herself. I may drive another test at 36 weeks because she looked so awful. She sent that one off under another name and kept the results to herself till just before she had the baby. She did it for Sarah. To give her the best chance. Well, you should have seen what she was up to. You and the doctors. You're supposed to be the experts. Ladies and gentlemen. What does he think he's doing? To the lady that planned this whole do for us. Kate Rowan. Kate. She were a grand doctor, a lovely girl, and a damn fine policeman's wife, which is an art given but to a few. And to Nick. Nick. To Kate. 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 Get him out of here, Bellamy. Well, there's loads more grub, everyone. Just help yourselves. Let's go and see that baby of yours, shall we? She's been fine. When the made-up bottles are already in the fridge. Thank you. I'll be round in the morning then. Thank you. Well, I'd just like you to know, Nick, that the force stands by its men in times of trouble. So just uh, take your time. Don't rush into anything. She's very nice. Just like her mother. I'm not sorry, lad. I'm not sorry. There's one thing I have to know, Maggie. Did she suffer much? Not physically, no. She was terribly sad. I'm sure. Especially about the baby. Nick? Nick? Casey Rowan. Heartbeat, what do you miss when 
my baby kisses me 